you feel like that Broden show is taking forever and you want to just get it done and over with, well, I got the solution for you. I'm going to show you guys how to get your cap maxed out because you see here, I finally got this done. It didn't even take that long actually. You're going to see here, this is only Roads of the Show stats this year, unlike last year, where only these, only stats we're going to worry about is extra base hits, the hits, and we're going to get the plate appearances. The assists and putouts are not going to count, unfortunately, but it's going to save us a lot more time earlier. Well, well for now, rather. And another thing that they nerfed from last year is that last year you used to have each program for each perk, but now. I'll, let's say I just go to anomaly and you see right here and it's still 200 across the board it didn't matter now let's go to showboat same thing here it's gonna show 200 so that sucks but this is this is only for like the power build I'll show later where it's gonna say like contact build and uh what's the other one fielding build but we're not gonna do a fielding one that one sucks you're only gonna do that if um you want more XP from it so let's go into a game and I'll show you how to do it from step by step as you guys already noticed i'm on the rockies and <laughs> if you see my stats on the bottom you see i have almost 200 home runs and hitting almost 870 you know no problem right <laughs> how do i do that we play on beginner we're playing straight beginner the experience you get from like beginner versus like all these other difficulties does not matter i see some people play on veteran but beginner for the amount of hits you'll get and how easy this is gonna be once I show you how to do it, it's gonna be so much easier. Rotor to show, you need to make sure that fielding opportunity is off, base running is off. It's you just wanna hit. Once again, you just wanna hit. Nothing else matters. And the reason why I say beginner is because guess what? Every pitch is down the middle every single time. It's not going to change. You're gonna do this over and over and over again. Fastball down the middle, fastball down the middle. Power swing, power swing, power swing, power swing until you see my build. He has 115 power. He has his power maxed out. So when you get into that situation where your power maxes out before like your contact, that's when you start contact swinging. You're pretty much just going to do this a whole bunch of times. Fastball down the middle, fastball down the middle. And each game, by the way, only takes like two, three minutes to, to hit home runs over and over again. It's pretty easy to me. And I have to remind you guys that this is very like boring <laughs> so get something to do do something you can listen to a podcast watch videos watch streams whatever just do not do this straight up just looking at the screen because you will be bored and you see right here you see at the end the progress i'm already almost done with uh the contact and i have to also mention that every single ball player you make this this is default to 30 so you see the play vision is at 30 this defaults to 30 every single ball player you make. So you need to make sure you have the right position when you make the build to begin with. Right here, almost done with everything. You can see right here, no change on the 50, so that's when it caps out at. But we're at the the off days. And it's gonna show you a lot of things. The only three parts you should like stats you should be focusing on. It's contact, fielding, and uh speed. Those are the only three you want to do. And the reason why is because you're going to be power swinging all the time, so don't even bother. Once again, we're not we're not fielding, we're not running, so we need to get <laughs> these stats upgraded somehow. So every time you get an off day, that's what you're gonna do. Since I showed you how to do this on the main guy I did, where my guy's already maxed out, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it from the beginning, from scratch. I'm gonna go to Rotor to Show right here. Since I already have a save, we're gonna go to press Square, and we have Start New. It's gonna ask you to make a new ball player. And right here, I'm gonna tell you right now, name your saves. I'm working on a contact build right here for second maze, but we're gonna do a new one. It's gonna ask you to make sure that you wanna change it. And we're gonna do let's do it. This part right here, you want to be a position player. If you wanna do pitcher, I'll do a video on that one too, but we're just doing position players for now because I haven't even finished the pitcher one. Well, started one rather. The best build right here for the game is power. Just go power, I'm telling you right now. If you want to do contact, that someone's okay, but don't do fielding. Just don't do fielding. I'm telling you right now, just don't do it. Now, if you see where it says the archetype works best for blah, 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 and it's highlighted like first, second, third, whatever, this does not mean secondary positions. This just means like a recommendation. So when you click right here for contact, I can make them shortstop if I wanted to, even though it's grayed out. For this build, we're doing the contact. We're going to do second base for the contact build 
because short stops, it's gonna be very difficult to balance the attributes. They nerfed the caps, but not really, but I'll show you why in a second. But for the contact build, we're gonna do second base, and for the power build later, the one I have for my main one, I'll show the stats for that. For power, catcher, contact, second base. Those are the two builds you wanna work on. I'm gonna finish, go to appearance. This doesn't matter, so we're 61 overall. And I have to tell you right now, <laughs> because this happened to me before I start a new save. You see on the top left, I'm a 61 overall. If you go to your previous files, so we'll go to like, um, where the hell is it? My main build I was just on, you guys just saw it. It's going to show me being a 61 overall. <laughs> Don't be scared. It does not mean your build deleted. Because when I first did this, I thought that happened to me. All you have to do is just go to your profile on top left, manage, uh, create change, and then you'll have your cap right back, like with everything. So this part right here, what you honestly could do, you could do a, a load save roster and get like the whole like 60 overall pitchers and all that. But honestly, like what I was saying before with the beginner strat, you don't need to. And we're just going to say we want to go on the Rockies. There's one team I want to, I want to go to National League. NL West Rivals. This is different. This whole sequence is different depending on the team they ask first. So, but you guys know it's the Rockies, NL West, you know, National League. All right, since I showed you guys the prog the process of how to do it all, I just went back to my other build because you guys already seen it. What I need to mention about this build and Rotor Show in general is that the XP you get is actually kind of crazy. <laughs> I am not kidding. This is ridiculous. I'm going to show you guys right now. I'll put a display of how much you get per uh, tier and in total. Now, the reason why I came back to show you the XP for this is because if you guys are Diamond Dynasty heads, which is the majority of the reason why you guys came to click this video to begin with. Look where I'm at in the program. The game came out two days ago and I'm already almost at the second choice back. This is how crazy it is. And the pain in the ass part about this was that I got capped twice doing this and it's, it's really good. And I've only been playing for like, I want to say like six to eight hours, just playing straight up Rojo show. And now you may say, Oh, it's boring as hell to just do beginner mode from Rojo show. Just hit fastball down the middle. Would you rather do this and make all this progress? Or would you rather play? Would you rather play this mode? This mode is ass. I hate conquest. As you see, I still have the tutorial. I hate this. I don't play it. Like I tried one game and I was just like, nah, fuck this. This is boring. You either do conquest or you do this. And this gives you way more. And for the record, I have Acuna. I bought him earlier today and the Grom. It just it's quick, quick, quick. This is no joke. I'm telling you right now. This is the meta for right now until they patch it. They are not going to let this stay in the game. So this is why I had to make this video quickly. I want you guys to know before they get rid of it. And the reason why I have 136K, which unfortunately ran out, well, not ran out, but more so people are more willing to do it. These perks have gone down in price. So like this one, for example, there's still 9K, but like depending on the time you do it, like this one's 8K. Once people figure out how to do this, it's going to tank in value. That's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it as fast as I can. That's pretty much going to be it though. I appreciate everyone like take the time to watch the video subscribe you know like the video you saw what you liked enjoy by the way i might do this torkelson debut i'm not sure though comment down below which builds you want to see oh yeah and by the way whatever your build is just put it right here just make sure you have the right position anyways guys i will talk to you later